live Super Doppler 7 weather. Well, he started off as expected with those brisk northerly breezes 10 to 15 miles an hour. So kind of a, a crisp start on your Thanksgiving. But boy, I tell you what, it got decent in the afternoon as we warm to a temperature of 53 degrees. And for you Black Friday shoppers, I know a lot of you aren't waiting till tomorrow. Some stores are opening right now. It'll be a chilly evening. Look at this. If you're camping out at some of those stores overnight, dropping off to 29 degrees. So you're going to have to dress very, very warm. And we'll see dressing layers you really need to. Here's that front that brought us the morning breezes for the first part of the day as it pulls away from us most parts of the state and for more sunshine. Now I do want to show you this system which will be pouring down impacting us Sunday, Monday and Tuesday and day by day drawing in much colder air. We're in for a blast of winter, folks. So uh, enjoy tomorrow because it will be one of the more quiet days. Now, here's what we're looking at for uh, the Black Friday activities. You're going to see very cold readings in the teens, 20s, and 30s throughout all of New Mexico. So, yes, bundle up. As we get into the afternoon, most areas will be sunny and cool with a few limited showers southeastern parts of the state. It changes a bit on Saturday. You see the cloud cover here. As one of those systems starts to draw up the cloud cover, we'll see increasing clouds during the day on Saturday so it won't be as comfortable. And a couple things to look at on the seven day forecast, a cool one for Black Friday. As we look at Saturday, the increasing clouds. Sunday, this is going to be the worst of the holiday weekend days here. You can see we'll be in and out of the rain and mountain snow showers. One of these 20 to 30 mile per hour winds, kind of a rough day to be outside, especially in the afternoon. <laughs> then the cold air settles in. And look at this on Monday. We're going to have uh, periods of rain and snow showers, depending on the time of day, even in some of the lower elevations and Tuesday not warming out of the 30s with some snow showers here. It's going to be more organized throughout the higher terrain, but yeah, that's a big blast of cold air.